Mastering polite refusals. No, thank you, in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're going to delve into a very common and important phrase in English. No, thank you. Understanding this phrase is crucial for polite communication in English-speaking environments. Let's explore its meaning, usage, and the nuances that come with it. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to polish your language skills, this video is for you. No, thank you, is a polite way of refusing an offer or invitation. It's a combination of a negative response, no, and a polite add-on, thank you. This phrase is often used when someone offers you something that you do not need or want. For example, if someone offers you a cup of coffee and you don't want it, you can simply say, no, thank you. This way, you are declining the offer without being rude or abrupt. In English, the tone and context play a crucial role in communication. When saying, no, thank you, your tone should be friendly and respectful. A harsh tone can make the phrase sound rude, which is not the intention. The context also matters. For instance, if you're at a formal dinner, your refusal should be more formal and gentle compared to a casual setting among friends. While, no, thank you, is a standard way to refuse politely, there are variations and alternatives you can use depending on the situation. For example, I appreciate the offer, but no thank you. This shows gratitude before declining. Thank you, but I'm good for now. A more casual way of refusing, often used among friends or in informal settings. In different English-speaking cultures, the way of refusing politely can slightly vary. For instance, in British English, you might hear, no, thank you, I'm fine. In American English, a simple, no, thanks, is more common in casual conversations. Understanding these subtle differences can enhance your communication skills in diverse settings. No. Thank you, is more than just a phrase. It's a key part of polite English communication. We hope this video has helped you understand how to use it correctly and with the right tone. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try using it in your daily conversations. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more helpful English language tips. Stay tuned and happy learning!